guys, it's Ross, and today I'm really looking closely at my fig trees, um, mainly because of a pest, and it's really the only pest that I'm finding that fig trees even have to deal with. Um, maybe you get some SWD or some fruit flies that attack the, uh, the fruits, but for the, the plant itself, there isn't really much that harms it, and this year and last year, and more so this year, I've been finding that scale has really become a problem for some of my fig trees. And you really have to get an up close and personal view. So I'm here looking really closely at a tree that I wanna share, I wanna show you guys that has scale on it. And scale's a pretty common pest. I'm sure most of you guys have heard of it, but it's hard to see, but Right on in there is the scale, and you can see there was an ant that just went down, and there's ants really all over this tree, um, because the ants, you can see there's even an ant hole in my pot, and um, you know, the ants really love the nectar that the scale produces, it's like a honeydew, and that honeydew uh, that they secrete, the ants go after that. So it's really easy, in a way, to tell if your tree is being infected by scale. Um, they really love to hide in places where you can't normally see them. Um, you know, you can obviously spray. Uh, we can do a little bit of spraying with some neem. Um, you know, alcohol, we can wipe the the branches themselves with some alcohol but I find that the best way to do this um, to remove these guys is actually just to knock them off and the best thing I found to use is this toothpick because it really does get into these really tight spaces here very easily and you can just kind of pick away at this it doesn't damage the wood and there's the scale right there and we'll just kind of knock that off on the ground and hopefully we do this enough different times to where it's interrupting the, the life cycle of the scale because when they get black like that that's more of the adult form and uh, if we can destroy the adults we'll stop the babies from coming and then spreading to different parts of the plant um, I've even had some trees this year the reason I'm telling you this is because some of my trees really haven't grown all that much this year and uh, looking back at the trees, now that I've been examining them closer, seeing which ones have scale on them, I've been seeing that some of them actually had scale this whole time, and that's why they haven't been growing. I had thought that it may have a lot to do with the fact that I up-potted a lot of my trees this year into larger containers, and by up-potting them, you don't, they don't have access to as much heat as they normally would. And with less heat, you do actually just, the metabolism slows down and they don't grow as fast. So that's what I thought was happening, but it's very obvious that some of my trees definitely have scale and some of them have quite a bit of it um, for the size of the tree. And it's a bit upsetting because I've been losing a lot of growth, I feel like, because of this. But they really, really love to hide in these little spaces. Uh, where I put the air layers on, um, they really love to hide in here. There's all kinds of scale running around in here. If you guys can kind of see the ants, there's some sap right there, but all in there is tons of scale. And it's really stopping my air layer. It stopped a lot of fruits from forming this year on this tree. You know, it's a bit upsetting, but hopefully this year we can, um, I'm gonna go over these plants couple times throughout the rest of this uh, this next month of September try to eliminate the problem completely or so much so that this doesn't become a thing next year and from then on I'll just be aware that this could be a thing and uh, possibly a detriment to my plants you may not have this problem guys because if you don't have many plants and you don't have them very close together it's uh, it's less hiding spots you know I also find that when you stake them up, they love to hide in the places here 
in between the stake and the, the wood. Um, they also love to hide in these places that you had just grafted and then wrap that up with the tree tube. Any little spot they can find themselves in that's uh, protecting them, that's where they will go. And if you just let the problem keep going, it's, uh, it's really bad. So I know guys, this was, like I said, a, you know, a pest that probably a lot of you know, but this is something I'm learning and everything I learn, I love to teach you guys and, and share it with you. So um, yeah, that's why I made this video on scale involving fig trees. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you all later. Take care.